Ahoy, ye mateys. It is Tom with Gold Spot Pens, and I am talking kind of like a pirate because I have a sailor for us to unbox today as part of our fountain pen unboxing and writing sample. Which sailor? We shall find out. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? All right, let's go. Taking off a white box sleeve to reveal the blue sailor box with sailor imprinted in gold. We have a little gold stripe that goes around and we have a clamshell box that opens up to unveil the sailor professional gear in the graphite lighthouse, a North American exclusive laid on a bed with a little sash that goes over the top sailor logo in gold on this sort of sateen material that's at the inside of the back. We pick up the pen and the platform and we'll just put that aside for the moment. And we'll take a look and we have the sailor writing instrument instruction guide and warranty. So we have the limited warranty information plus filling instructions for your fountain pen and or other sailor products. Then we have two Sailor ink cartridges, which they are proprietary, so these are pretty handy if you like ink cartridges. And then we also have instructions for the Sailor ink converter. All helpful stuff, all important to leave in your box and keep that there for future reference. So fairly standard box, and we come to the pen. So this is the Progear Graphite Lighthouse. Progear Regular Graphite Lighthouse. I say regular because it does come in two different sizes. This is the larger of the two. We'll go over dimensions and uh, what the particulars of this pen are in just a little bit, but we'll just talk about the aesthetics of this pen, which is that it's a gray pen. It's a kind of like a slate gray, distinguished, medium slash dark so kind of like a suit, it's kind of like a suit gray. It's a nice gray. It's got a cap band on here. Sailor Japan, founded 1911. It's got a double band that's there. The clip, which is nice. It has like a little engraved sort of design on it. One of the main features about this North American exclusive are the finials, if you notice. The finials do not match the rest of the body of the pen in terms of its resin composition. It has a clear resin finial with the Sailor Anchor Medallion top. Completely clear there. And then also clear at the bottom. And this is something that you might have seen before if you frequent looking at sailor pens on Japanese websites that make exclusives and tend to make them in one body color and then do the finials in a different translucent color or vice versa. They kind of play with the idea of the finials and change it up a little bit by altering the color of those finials to something different. What I kind of noticed here is when I take off the barrel is that the finial you could see through the entire barrel barrel and see through the finial at the bottom, which is kind of cool. It makes it look like I'm almost like a World War II bombardier. I'm about to drop some bombs someplace when I'm like looking through this. I don't know. It's kind of fun. But we have the converters already installed here. Uh, we already inked it up because we're doing this, of course, for demonstration purposes. So the... Metal threads on here are an instant no-go if you decide to, if you're even thinking about eyedroppering this pen because you'd like to see ink in that bottom part here. That is a no-go because these metal threads will uh, corrode with, with constant exposure to ink. So we have on the Pro Gear Regular here, we have a 21 karat gold nib. So I'm just trying to get in focus here. This is the best as I think we're getting. So... It's all rhodium finished, so it is gold, but they finish it in rhodium to match the rhodium finish trims, which are all silver in appearance. And the particular nib size that I chose for this demonstration is the Zoom nib, 
which is little oft described and talked about around because it is a rather specialty type of nib. It's not your ordinary fine, medium broad or double broad type of nib. It has a unique characteristic that sets it apart from other speciality nibs that Sailor makes. So that is the pen in a nutshell. We'll uh, go over the stats. So we have the Sailor Pro Gear regular. The length of it closed is 5.1 inches or 130 millimeters. That's 130 millimeters. And we have the length of the pen cap off is 4.65 inches or 115.5 millimeters. Then you have the length uh, with the cap posted. That is 5.86 inches or 145, one, I'm sorry, 149 millimeters. Then you have the cap diameter at its biggest, which is at the cap band here, is 0.59 inches or 15 millimeters. Then you have the section diameter, which should average about like right at the middle, so I could take like a, a median sort of measurement here, and that is 0.41 inches or 10.5 millimeters. Then you have the total weight of the pen, which is 0.7 ounces or 19.8 grams. The nib is 21 karat gold, like I'd mentioned, MSRP, on this pen, the retail price is 390 US dollars. We sell it at goldspot.com for 312 in the seven standard nib sizes, which range from extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, music, and zoom. I think I got them all right. Uh, there's a one year warranty on this pen, like I showed you in the box there, it has the one year warranty uh, on any manufacturing defects and whatnot, which most sailors come quite pristine like you see here. So we have some paper. Let's do a writing sample with the zoom nib. I have a 1911 and the Pro Gear, virtually the same exact thing. The 1911 I have in the larger size with the Rialo. The Pro Gear is essentially the same exact type of deal, but just with the flattened ends. So instead of the ends coming to a rounded end, it's flattened and it has the medallion at the top. So the Pro Gear is a little bit more of a modern sort of design, uh, whereas that 1911 is is going to be a, a more classic Mont Blancish, you know, Meisterstück sort of design. Um, but this has got more of like a modern sort of flavor on it. Let's do a little writing sample here. Zoom it in. So, as you can see here, it, it's a very quick writer because it does have a broader line. And what I'm doing is I'm I'm kind of using a, a middle of the road approach when writing with the zoom nib, because the one the like we had explained with the Aurora Gotia nib is that it varies the line width based on the angle of the pen to paper. So if we go a little bit more perpendicular, like if we're about like at this angle, of course this is perpendicular. So this is the nib, pretend like that's the nib and that's the paper. So if I'm going like this, I'm going to write a thinner line. And I'm gonna feel a little bit more of that signature sailor feedback. Not scratchy, but just kind of like a high grade pencil you would kind of feel the the nib kind of going across the paper more. For a smoother, thicker writing experience, wider line, wetter line, is going a bit more acutely to the paper. So if let's say you were to imagine the nib is like this and the paper is like this, see it's even doing it already since I'm kind of switching my writing style up here. So if we're going a little bit more 
acutely to the paper surface, we're getting a wetter, thicker line, which is also smoother as well. Nice and smooth. So that is, that is a zoom in a nutshell. It also does write upside down, so I'll show that. So as you can see, definitely a, a big difference when you write upside down. And this is the kind of the selling point that I really like about the music nib is that you could go with a nib right side up and, and create a really thick, wet line, but you could flip it on the other side and be able to write a much thinner, drier, more concise line. So if like, let's say I am writing in my journal and you know I want to make a little note on the side so it's just like so I'm like writing uh, the quick brown fox fox and then all of a sudden I'm like oh I forgot that word so I could just flip it upside down and edit or put like a little notation on the margins and not have it be in the same thickness as the rest of my writing that's on the page which is kind of cool to be able to vary up your uh, your writing thicknesses and be able to use the pen for multiple purposes. So, uh, but I mean, uh, granted, I know not for everybody. Some people just want it just one point size all the time. Please don't get fancy on me, but this is kind of neat for if you like to switch things up, which I do. The ink that's being used here is the Sailor Four Seasons or the Shiki Ori. And this is Yonaga, which is part of a more recent edition of colors that come in the 20 milliliter bottles. So this you could find at goldspot.com. We have them available in the other Four Seasons colors. But this is Shiki Ori, which is a nice dark, not, I wouldn't say blue-black, it's more like a navy color. And with the 21 karat, because this pen also comes in, of course, the Pro Gear Slim, and that's a 14 karat nib. But with the 21 karat, you get a little bit more, even though Sailor nibs are known to be pretty much stiff as nails uh, in terms of their gold nibs. Some other manufacturers have nibs that are quite soft. The 21 carats do give you like a little bit of softness and definitely has a higher degree of smoothness than I feel the 14 karat would. So besides the actual size between the regular and the slim, the upgrade in the nib, I feel, is, I mean, it's one of the main price differentiating factors, but the, um, the size of it also as well. But the, the main thing being the nib, and the nib does give you that higher-end writing experience. But it's something that if you don't have a 14 karat or if you've never written with a sailor before, if you go straight to a 21, you're really not going to appreciate it, I feel. That's just my opinion. So if this is like your first sailor pen, I might go with the 14 karat, even though at the end of the day, that means that we sell not as not as many or as high of a dollar amount of pen, but at least you're gonna be satisfied. And that's the main key component here. So if this is your first sailor pen, definitely a, a slim I would recommend. Um, I usually do that mostly with any sort of style. Um, so even if this is not a North American exclusive and this is just a regular sailor, I would go with a slim pro gear or a 1911 standard. See how that is. Unless you are a type of person that needs pens of a certain size because the slim is smaller than this and I consider this kind of this is not a large size pen by any stretch of the means this is more as they say it's a standard it's regular it, you know I gave the measurements before it's really not a pen that's like a large pen I, I would say if you measure this up against let's say a m800 this is still going to be on the smaller side so you know you're not so but the slim is even smaller than this and has a, has like a thick a thinner grip as well so that might be a problem to some who prefer a thicker more substantial type of pen so that might also factor in your decisions as well 
So again, this is the Sailor Pro Gear. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching and uh, taking a look at this Sailor Pro Gear. If you would like to stick around and see other pen videos and anything that we come out with, we have plenty of Germany videos that are still yet to be produced, and we have plenty of other unboxings to do on a weekly basis. So feel free to subscribe to us and give us a big old thumbs up.